Hi everyone, myself Harsha. Uh, I am Praga trainer at Harsha Trainings. In this video, I am going to explain about the concept of data page scopes. So, where we have three different scopes, you are going to get a clear idea about each of these scopes and its purpose with a real business example. And before we proceed to the video, so we are going to start a new batch on Praga Training starting from May 31st of this month and the timings will be morning 8 am to 9 am ist india timings if you are any of one of your connections if they are looking for pega training please reach out to us on the number that is displayed on this video before we proceed to watch the video don't forget to subscribe our channel and if you have any questions or any doubts related to pega on any topic or if you are attending interviews and you need answers for any of the uh, difficult questions or scenario based questions that you have faced during interviews Please post your questions or doubts in the comment sections of this video. Database scope, we have thread, requester and node. So requester scope of database means the database sharing has to be limited only within a single requester session and it should be shared among multiple work objects. Okay, so the agent who belongs to an insurance agent who belongs to branch one, when he log in, Branch details, that means agency details will get loaded when you create a first work object. Second, third, fourth, fifth, tenth work object, twentieth work object, it will be shared. But this data is not okay to share with the agent two who belongs to branch two because his branch data is different. But in this case, the data sharing is required, but sharing has to be limited only up to within single request session among multiple work objects so when there is a business need of sharing is required to be done but the sharing has to be limited within a single requester session we create our data page to have the scope of requester to be chosen here everyone clear with requester scope okay a scope of data page defines a restriction of are the limitation of sharing scope you understand right the terminology scope scope means its accessibility level okay it has to be accessed only up to the level of requester within a single requester it can be shared among multiple work objects but not outside requesters other requesters it should not share understand that is one scope the second one is node scope i mean like second when i say whatever i am teaching the second one thread i did not tell you i'll tell you later so node scope see the meaning of node we can better understand easily as a server means whenever you are going to log into an application application will be installed on a server right you log into application server see it is is it only one person is going to log into server no n number of people will log in suppose you take amazon application so amazon application you are going to log in like you there will be n number of people who are going to log into Amazon application. So multiple resources can log on to same server. Possibility is there, right? Now there will be some business need where sharing is required among multiple requesters. Multiple requesters means the data that has been retrieved by me may be a common data for you. Also, the same is needed for you. So the data retrieved by me can be shared to you. So as for the business, there may be a need that data sharing is required to be extended with a scope of server level. The scope of server level. If that is the case, we go and choose the scope as node scope. See here, uh, there is one drop down. Uh, drop down name is, uh, let's say, countries. And in the drop down, I am trying to populate all the list of countries taking it from a table so n number of countries are populated so in amazon application i am registering at the time of registration it is asking what is your country i have chosen my country there are n number of countries populated another person who log in from america also he will see the same list of countries he will be choosing the country accordingly right so the data in the country's drop down is going to be displayed for everyone it is same data but what you choose is depend on your country okay where you are staying and this data 
has to be retrieved only once for the first time place it on clipboard and load it on drop down anyone else who is going to log in for registration for all of them i will share this data because it is the same data for everyone list of countries to display and load so this is the one where in this type of business requirements we go for node scope of data page if the database scope is node data page will get loaded onto server's clipboard and it will be shared among multiple requesters of a server of a server all the people who log on to that particular server will be able to access the data from the data page which is already present on the clipboard only for the first person first operator it will get loaded freshly everyone understand so we discussed about two scopes so far one is requester scope and the second one is node scope requester scope means data page will be available for sharing but sharing is within single requester session but among multiple work objects of the same person and if the scope of the data page is node it will be available for sharing among multiple different operators who log on to that particular server understand everyone next scope as thread thread means for your better understanding you can easily understand it like one work object is equal to one thread one work object is equal to one thread beginning to ending if you make a transaction that is one thread okay so five is five operators logged into prpc five of them are creating five work objects how many threads are running now five different threads are getting processed understand what is the meaning of thread see i have a bank application i logged into my bank application and i am making a transaction the transaction type can be anything there is there is a value called total balance or available balance during the transaction processing within the work object from beginning to ending i'm as per my actions the system has to check the total balance i mean like available balance during transaction from beginning to ending the system has to verify to see available balance and compare with something else in order to make your transaction to go as per the uh, like whatever the constraints defined in the transaction okay now whenever you initiate a transaction means work object you initiated bank bank transaction it will retrieve the available balance from the respective ledger table and it will load on to clipboard see screen one imagine it is screen one it has freshly loaded imagine i have 15 screens overall at five of the screens overall are five of the different places in the transaction the available balance has to be retrieved and verified so how many times total it has to retrieve five times within a single transaction now the balance amount is going to be same or it will vary suppose you are initiating a withdrawal transaction from beginning to ending of withdrawal transaction is it going to be same or different it will be same for sure there's no way it can be different see but how many times i need the same data from the table five times i need during my transaction. is it necessary that i have to go to the table five times the system has to go to table five times and fetch it no for the first time it will fetch second third fourth fifth time it will share okay one transaction completed i have initiated one more transaction this time if i use the same balance amount which has been retrieved at the first transaction is it okay is it okay no is there any possibility that the balance amount will get changed or not during the second transaction possibility is there so using the balance amount which you have retrieved at first transaction sharing is required within the transaction but outside the transaction other transaction sharing should not be done as per the business right if it is being done maybe you have withdrawn in the previous transaction balance amount is less but before withdrawal you have retrieved balance amount that is getting shared to second transaction means there will be a problem right so in this situation the balance amount is being reused multiple times retrieved multiple uh, needed multiple times in a transaction but this amount is not required with another transaction of same person even okay 
So based on this business requirement, we need to create the database scope as thread scope. Thread scope of data page means data page will be available for sharing n number of times, but within a single work object, but not with other work objects. So how would you decide whether you have to create a thread scope or request a scope or node scope of data page? For that, you need to have a clear idea about the business requirement. Okay. It is all pure based on business, not based on technology. Okay. So database scope thread requester and node three scopes are there a scope is going to define the extent of accessibility for sharing okay if the data page has to be shared within single work object multiple times then we should go for the scope of thread if the data page sharing is required to be done among multiple work objects of a single requester session then we go for the scope of requester if the data page has to be shared among multiple requesters means multiple operators who log on to the same server then we go for node scope everyone clear okay see i will at this point data page is completed explanation overall 